before watching this video, please make sure that you already watch our tutorial videos in inequalities and interval notation. And our problem number one in solving regional inequalities. This will be the checking of the problem 3x minus 15 over x less than or equal to 5 minus x. That is your assignment in our tutorial video last time in problem number one. Now let us check your work. Our first step, the inequality must be equal to zero. So let us move 5 minus x on the left side. So use the addition property of equality. 3x minus 15 over x minus 5 plus x is less than or equal to 0. Okay. This is now equated to 0. Now, find the LCD. Our LCD is x, our denominator. So x divided by x, that is 1, times 3x minus 15. So that will give us 3x minus 15. Or just copy because this is all already equal to x. Now, x divided by 1, we have a denominator of 1 here, times negative 5 negative 5x and x divided by 1 times x positive x squared it's less than or equal to 0 now simplify our numerator then arrange from descending order so x squared 3x minus 2 minus 5x negative 2x minus 15 all over x is less than or equal to 0. Okay. Now, since this is quadratic, find the factors. So factors are uh, factors of negative 15. The sum must be negative 2x. So that is x minus 5 and x plus 3. Let us check. Negative 5 times positive 3, negative 15. Negative 15 times 3, negative 2. Okay. For our next step, find the zeros of our inequality. So I just equate to 0, x minus 5 is equal to 0, that will become x is equal to 5. So the zeros are 5. The other one, x plus 3 is equal to 0, so x is negative 3. And of course, for the denominator, x is equal to 0. So the zeros are 5, negative 3, and 0. Now, our number line So, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Okay, I will adjust it on the middle part Let's say 0, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. <clears throat> now locate our zeros, positive 5. Let's see here. We have the 0 and negative 3. That's it. Let us test whether 
the numbers on the left side of negative 3 satisfies our inequalities. Choose between negative 5, negative 6, negative 4, or negative 7. Okay, let's try 5. So if x is equal to negative 5. So negative 5 minus 5 negative 5 plus 3 over negative 5. It's less than or equal to 0. Let us check. Negative 5 minus 5, this is negative 10. Negative 5 plus 3, negative 2. All over negative 5. Negative 10 times negative 2, that is 20 over negative 5. 20 divided by negative 5, negative 4 is less than or equal to 0. Is negative 4 less than or equal to 0? Yes. So that means this is true. Negative 4 is less than 0. Now, let us check these numbers between negative 3 and 0. Or choose between negative 2 and negative Let's try negative 1. If x is equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1 minus 5. Negative 1 plus 3 over negative 1 less than or equal to 0. Negative 1 minus 5, that is negative 6, times negative 1 plus 3, 2 over negative 1 less than or equal to 0. Negative 6 times 2, that is negative 12, over negative 1, less than or equal to 0. Negative 12 divided by negative 1, that is 12, less than or equal to 0. 12 is less than 0, true or false? False. So this is false. That means if it is false, the numbers between negative 2 and 0 are not included. How about these numbers? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Choose 1. Okay, I will choose 3. If x is equal to 3. So change x to 3. So 3 minus 5. 3 plus 3 over 3 is less than or equal to 0. 3 minus 5, that is negative 2. 3 plus 3 is 6 over 3, less than or equal to 0. Let us use the cancellation method. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So negative 2 times 2. This is negative 4 is less than or equal to 0. Is negative 4 less than 0? Yes. So this is true. And last. 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. So let us choose if x is equal to 6. So 6 minus 5, then... 6 plus 3 over 6 is less than or equal to 0. 6 minus 5, that is 1. 6 plus 3, that is 9, over 6. Less than or equal to 0. So 9 over 6 is less than or equal to 0. 9 over 6 is 1 point something. So this is false. That is now satisfies our need. So let us cross out the false, okay? And now write in our interval notation for our final answer. So in this part, going to negative infinity, that satisfies our inequality, negative infinity to negative 3. 
we're going to close at negative 3. The union on this part, this is true. Zero is included. But open or close? We need to open zero. Zero is not included. Why zero is not included? Because if x is 0, that will give us undefined or extraneous solution. So we're going to open to 0. 0 is not included. 2, positive 5, we're going to close to positive 5. This is now our final answer. Negative infinity to negative 3, union, open to 0 to positive 5. Close. This is our solution in that given problem. Thank you for watching Senior Public TV. And I hope you enjoyed and you, you learned something in our tutorial. Please share to your class.